Yo, yo, what's going on, people? And welcome to another Flawless gameplay here. I mean, pretty much every time I PvP, Flawless is all I get. But I'm not really going to be talking too much about this game. But instead, we're going to talk a little bit about E3. And just like in this gameplay, it was pretty much just one-sided. I didn't really get a chance to watch Microsoft's press conference at all. Um, it's usually like the same thing every year with the whole Halo, Forza, whatever third party uh, games are going to be coming to other systems. So I wasn't really too, like Microsoft, I can't really care less about them. Um, <laughs> but I laugh pretty hard when I heard about the price tag of the Xbox One for $500, which is ridiculous. Um, especially uh, here in the audience, like they were super quiet when they announced the price tag. They were like, wow, like 500 bucks. I think it would have probably been an okay if they didn't restrict you on your games, if they didn't restrict you on um, pretty much trading with people. Um, I didn't get the whole details about the whole Xbox One, but I know that uh, you have to have connect always on and they're making it mandatory for every single xbox one which is like ridiculous you know if the government doesn't already spy on you on everything that you do and now they want to really be all up in your house <laughs> in your living room and it's just too many restrictions and it's just it's like you're paying for nothing in a way like and i think most of their main concern is going to be for tv and I mean, yeah, they were talking about some games here and there, you know, but nothing to really like It wasn't that oom factor, you know, like I want to have it The only people that are gonna be buying the Xbox ones are just loyal followers who have no Reason to really buy anything else because they're really that retarded. I mean, if you're ever gonna buy an Xbox one I feel better for you already, you know, and then the whole PlayStation 4 pretty much dominated E3. There is no comparison between the uh, Nintendo or Microsoft. Like PlayStation 4 right now as that I know that I know of they're ahead of pre-orders right now. Uh, there's like a report uh, it's still one of those early things but PlayStation is gonna have to produce more <laughs> PlayStation 4s uh, because of the whole pre-orders that that a lot of people like for the, for the price tag of $400, um, no restrictions on your games, no restrictions on absolutely nothing. The only thing that you probably have to pay for to go online is a PlayStation Plus, which that by itself is amazing. I've had PlayStation Plus back in the past and it's pretty much worth it. Um, you get discounts to games on a weekly basis. You get um, free games to download. You get uh, exclusive exclusive <laughs> access to certain betas. You get avatars. You get themes. And I believe when you buy it, you have it for all of your accounts for your PSP, for your PlayStation 3, PS4, all that type of stuff. And it's pretty much amazing. The games for the PlayStation 4 during the press conference were a little bit boring, but I believe it's because they're focusing on indie titles. And that is something that Microsoft hates pretty much because every time an indie company contacts Microsoft, they don't call them back. And when indies call pay, uh, Sony, they pretty much are in the talks, you know, they really are focusing on more games than ever before. And Nintendo is just Nintendo. They're never going to change. Uh, they do sell a bunch of games, you know, and even though it's about the games, they mostly just have first parties. They got their Mario, they got their Zeldas. Uh, I believe their big announcement was their Super Smash Brothers, which is pretty cool. But I mean, Super Smash Brothers is going to stay the same as well. So it's not really anything special that, I mean, really, <laughs> you know, and I don't think there's many third party publishers developing for the Wii U at all, really. It's just mostly... You know, your typical Mario Kart, your Mario, all that type of stuff. You know, um, I myself already put $100 for the PlayStation 4 pre order That's the system that I am going to get. That's the system I'm going to be playing on, recording on, uploading, and everything. And I just can't wait till the PS4 comes out. It's $400, which is pretty cool. For sure, I'm going to get the PS Plus to take advantage 
of, of its features even more and overall it's gonna be a better service i mean i don't want to sound like a ps fanboy or and you know not in that way you know but it's quality over quantity you know and playstation 4 is gonna dominate it dominated e3 it's going to dominate for the next probably five to like seven years until the next console comes out and this is retarded to buy anything else unless you're like a family person you want your kids to have fun then by all means get your daughter or your kids a nintendo wii that's pretty much what it's made for just for a family fun for real gaming get yourself a playstation 4 go ahead and get a laughing stock because people know that you bought yourself a restricted cable box but uh let me know what you guys are planning on pre-ordering are you gonna get yourself an xbox one or get yourself a PlayStation 4. Or are you going to go ahead and stick to PC gaming? Because honestly, PC gaming is where it's at. So then guys, thank you all for watching. Take it easy. Be easy. Peace.